conspiracy or accident. More than six years after the plane crash in Russia that killed Poland's President Lech Kaczynski and 95 others, questions remain. A probe conducted by Poland's former liberal government blamed human error and bad weather. But the right-wing government in power since last year, led by Jarosław Kaczyński, the twin brother of the late president, has rejected those findings and ordered a fresh investigation. Polish prosecutors have since decided to exhume the remains of the late president and scores of other victims after Moscow refused to hand over the plane's wreckage and black boxes. Families are divided over the move. I know it's very painful, but from the legal point of view, it's indispensable. Don't forget that we're in a unique situation in that we have very little material evidence in Poland about the disaster. Like it or not, these bodies constitute rare material evidence. Pavo lost his wife, MP Yolanta Szymanek Deres, in the crash and doesn't want her remains to be exhumed. He was among the 200 relatives of crash victims who signed an open letter of protest to President Andrzej Duda. The exhumations are a kind of hunting for clues to prove the absurd theory that President Lech Kaczynski was assassinated. Kaczynski's PIS conservatives have also accused EU President Donald Tusk of trying to hide the truth about the crash in 2010 while he was Poland's Prime Minister. But so far, no evidence has been found to suggest the crash was anything other than an accident. The PIS is using the exhumations as political fuel. It campaigned on promises to reveal the causes of the disaster. It's also buying time to find new documents and evidence because it's been a year and so far the PIS hasn't found anything new. Families opposing the exhumations have asked prosecutors to leave their relatives to rest in peace.